All right, I'm sitting here with Jared Wesley, Live Traders. How's it going, man? Good, man. How you doing? It's good to see you. Great, great. What are you doing in my neighborhood? <laughs> I uh, flew in from Arizona, had a couple business meetings for Live Traders in New York City. I had some real estate business to take care of. As you guys know, I, I don't just trade. I have a, a pretty healthy real estate uh, portfolio as well. How you doing, man? Man, great. I've been doing great. Uh, it's good to meet you in my neighborhood here. <laughs> Pretty but, nice out there today, right? Oh, it's a beautiful day here on a Saturday Gorgeous out. morning. Great day today to be hanging out. But uh, anyways, you know, what I really wanted to ask you, Jared, is you know, people see us on you know Instagram. They see you on Snapchat. You know, your Instagram has been really hot lately. And uh, people see the lifestyle and they want to get it, right? So I want to ask you, how do they get it? I mean, you're driving a Ferrari here. You see you drive, you know, a Corvette there. And you're dri traveling in private jets. So how do people really get that? That's a question I get all the time. I, my Instagram blows up with questions like that. And the truth of the matter is, it's, it's hard work, but it takes time. You know what I mean? Uh, when I started trading that first couple years, year and a half, I, I didn't make any money. You know, I was happy to break even after my first year and a half or so. Um, so what I did was I worked my butt off. I got an education, got some training, because if you don't get an education, if you don't get training, well, the market's going to give you that education, and it's going to cost a lot more than, say, live traders or something like that. Um, so what I did was I really worked hard 10, 12 hours a day at it, and then I took the winnings from my trading, okay? I took my earnings from my trading, and I invested that into real estate. And this is back in 2008, 2009, 2010. And everybody knows that was a good time to buy real estate. Um, so between my trading blowing up in a good way um, and some of my positive real estate investments, I've been able to live a, a pretty nice lifestyle, man. I mean, they always talk about the trader's life. Well, this is the trader's life. Right. So, you know, you mentioned something really that, you know, in your first couple of years, you didn't make any money trading. So how are you able to, you know, persevere through that? and you know persist through that that's the big thing that people don't get because even I didn't make any money my whole first year but the thing is most people quit by then so what kept you going man that's a that's a, another good question because I mean let's be honest you were you were pretty much a rock star uh, when you started in this business I it took me a little bit longer um, the first six months not terrible you know you expect things to take a little bit of time and such but I would say it was about the year, year and a half mark that the frustration started to set in. You know what I mean? The wife was starting to ask questions. Family members were starting to ask questions like, hey, you know, when are you going to start making some money? You know what I mean? You've been doing this a year, year and a half, and you're not there. You're not making money. So they, it helped having the support of my wife, to be honest. But at the same time, once she started pressuring me, it got real for me. I mean, I'm not lying here. A lot of people bullshitting this, but it got real. She wanted to have kids. We had just gotten married a year or two earlier, et cetera, and so forth. So a lot of that was it for me, plus the time aspect. I'd been doing it a year and a half, two years, and I was ready. I knew the charts really well, um, but I just couldn't get the emotional aspects down, especially selling too soon, occasionally not taking a stop loss. Typical stuff that traders go through. I think it's just that I wanted a little bit more. I worked hard, uh, and I also had mentors, you know, people that helped me. You know, when you first started out, I helped you out a little bit. Well, people did that with me, and you know, it was a big deal. And that, I attribute a lot of that um, to my success. Right. Um, you know, we, we often see online, because there's so many people now in the trading sphere, right? So many mentors, so many places, and they all advertise, you know, how to you know quit your job and become a trader. But how important do you think it is to actually have some source of security while you're trading? Does that make a difference? Does that help people? Or... Should people just go all in and you know quit their job and just go dive straight in? No, I've been a big proponent of having a secondary or ancillary income um, when you start trading, before you start trading. Whether it's a spouse working, whether it's a hefty savings account, whether it's a part-time job or a full-time job, I really don't think that traders need any extra stress. Uh, as people know, in the beginning, the business can be incredibly stressful, to be honest with you. Uh, after a while, once you learn the business, it's probably the least stressful business out there. Why? Because you follow the rules, you follow the plan. You know, live traders teach people how to trade, the system to trade in, so it's not stressful then. But when you start, um, too many people, they think, well, it's only going to take me a few months to get this. So they save up a few months worth of savings, and what happens? They blow through that three, four, five months, and now they don't know what to do. So now they're trading with scared money doubling, tripling their risk because they got a mortgage payment or a car payment and all that other stuff. Um, and I think it really sets them back. So 
I would recommend in a big way for people to either have an ancillary income like a spouse, keep their job, get a second job or a nighttime job. If you really want this, you'll make it happen. You know, it, it's, it's not always easy in the beginning, but I would highly recommend that you don't quit your day job until trading can start, you know, to replace some of that income. Right. Well, that's actually a great point because, you know, we, I actually met a trader that uh, was doing coaching with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis and he couldn't make any money trading as well in the first couple months. By the way, look at that. <laughs> Let's hear it. Sweet. So that's what people want to get. People want to get this car, right? People want to do this as well on a Saturday morning. Well, let me cut you off just real quick. I, I love cars. I mean, Ferraris, Corvettes, Porsches. I, I love that stuff. But it's not just about that. I mean, it's it's for me, it's about being able to take my daughter to school and pick my son up from school. Who gets to do that? I mean, you're working the 9 to 5. Or you're working 80 hours a week. You don't get to pick your kids up to school. Yep. You don't get to take them out for ice cream at 3 in the afternoon. But when you're a trader and you get it, you could start at nine to be done by noon. Yep. So it's not just the cars, it's not just the money, it's the flexibility, the freedom, and the lifestyle. Yeah, too. yeah. your kids must love it. Daddy picking <laughs> it up in a Ferrari, taking it in a private jet. <laughs> yeah, once in a while, you know, I mean, I don't think they mind, you know. Right, so do you think your kids are gonna ever become traders? You know, that's a great question. I have two daughters and uh, one son, and uh, I'll certainly teach them trading simply for their own benefit, meaning, it, trading is not always what people think it is. It's not just getting in and out of a trade in two minutes or three minutes. What live traders teach is what I've learned, what you've learned, can be applied to long-term investing. I mean, we can use a one-minute chart. We can use a yearly chart. So, uh, again, it's not always what people think. So, absolutely, I'm going to teach my kids trading because it doesn't have to necessarily be day trading. If they have, you know, like my one daughter wants to become a veterinarian, great. Let her be a veterinarian, but let the trading help her investments in the future. Nice. All right, so uh, you know, you mentioned that people could do long-term investing on the side, or if they don't want to become day traders, there's other ways to trade as well. But those who are looking to trade part-time, now, how do they start? Like, what do they need to read on? Are there any books you recommend? Man, that's a good question. You know, we're trying to talking about would I recommend any books for my kids um, to learn trading? And you know, there's a lot of great books out there, and it really depends on what what you're trying to learn. So if you want to learn technical analysis, Professional Trading Strategies is a really good book. Um, we have a, a free ebook that I think a lot of folks, and I, I know you were eyeing this up a little bit earlier, but Trading with an Edge uh, is a book that uh, we just right, published. Let me see. Yeah, I, I, li I literally just published that. So that's actually not even out there yet for everybody. Um, so I would say Professional Trading Strategies is the most complete course slash book in the industry. Um, if you're looking to help your emotional demons, uh, psychological demons, then I would probably recommend uh, either Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz or I would recommend something like um, Trading in the Zone or The Disciplined Trader by Mark Douglas. Uh, but again, if you're looking for just pure technicals with psychology, order entry, charting, whether it's a one minute chart or a yearly chart, uh, I would recommend, um, you know, professional trading strategies I think that's it's 450 pages and uh, there's not a better book out there right and also I wanted to know like you know professional trading strategies how, how long will it take for people to complete I know it's like 16 hours of video that we did it's like four five hundred pages of manual yeah but should people just watch that course all in one go or should it should they break it down well you know that depends everybody's different some people can watch it all in one go um, and they're okay and other people need to break it down so I would kind of recommend watching it all in one go initially all right then maybe taking a day or two break away from it a step away because you know 16 hours and, and 450 pages a lot of information um, you're probably only assimilate 20 or 30 percent of that the first time around so I would recommend doing that uh, and then like I said take a couple days off and come back to it uh, and then chapter by chapter you know and as the book says pick a couple patterns you really like and then from there, um, really learn them. And when you learn those patterns, then um, you can move on to adding more tools to your toolbox. Awesome. So on a different note, what do you have? What are your thoughts on you know alternative trading vehicles like ETFs? Do we you know do you really think there's an edge in trading ETFs? Um, I don't know that there's an edge in trading ETFs. I know that a lot of folks do it. Um, one of the big things that's really popular right now, and I know it's something that you uh, 
uh, have done a phenomenal job in, and I'm, I'm just a, a, a greenhorn, so to speak. I need to learn is Forex. Uh, and I know uh, recently, I think you, you just came out with a Forex book, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, if, if, uh, if I recall. Um, and I know that's something that uh, I just recently got a copy of, and I was really impressed. In fact, um, I have a copy of it, you know. Nice. Advanced Pit Mastery. And to be honest, I shouldn't be reading and driving, but um, <laughs> that that's a really good book. Um, I'm not as familiar with Forex, so for somebody that's not as familiar with Forex, I was blown away by how easy it was to follow. Um, because, like I said, I, I'm not a Forex master. That's your um, you know forte, so to speak. But uh, I found it very informative, very easy to read, and I think I you know I'd recommend somebody that wants to learn Forex to try it that way because. To be frank, there's a lot of advantages to Forex. You can start with a couple hundred bucks. Uh, you get incredible leverage. You don't have liquidity problems. I mean, with some of the, the risk level that I choose in stocks, uh, liquidity is a problem sometimes. Forex, you don't have that problem. So you can you can put on a lot more money in a trade than I can. So I have to make it up in volume. Whereas you can make it up in one, two, three good trades a week. I got to make three good trades a day to get right. the same type of results. So yeah, I mean... Uh, there's a lot of benefit to Forex. Yeah. And also, you know, one thing people need to realize is once they get the technical analysis portion down, once they get ch reading charts down, once they learn the strategies and the patterns, the same stuff that we have in ETS works the same way in Forex, yeah. right? And people seem to think that, oh, there's some magical formula to Forex or there's some magical formula to Holy options. Grail. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but, but the thing is, the patterns are the same. I mean, you're just trading a different chart. I mean, people ask me, like, you know, what price is the euro at? I don't even know what price the euro is at because I'm just buying and selling based on what I've learned on the PTS course that I you know, took as well. So, you know, that's kind of my opinion on it. But how long will it take for people to really nail down technical analysis? Like, to really nail it down to a point that, all right, you know, I've got it. I, I smile at that because, you know, say if I had a nickel for every time somebody asked me that question... I, I, you know, I'd have more than I already have. Um, but, uh, you know, in, in terms of how long it'll take, everybody's different. Let's use you and I as an example. Uh, you came out as a superstar right out of the womb, basically. And in six months, you were making money. And by a year, you were doing what I would consider really well. Me, six months, I was putting my binky and blanket in my mouth. And by a year, I was breaking even. Uh, and by a year and a half, maybe making a little bit of money consistently. So it took me, I'm going to say, four or five times longer than it took you to get to the same level. So it's hard to say. The one thing I do tell traders, though, is however long you think it's going to take, add double or triple that. Okay, so if you think it's going to take six months, it's going to take 18. Well, if you think it's going to take a year, it's going to take maybe two or three. And I'm, I'm okay by saying that. you got all these other companies out there saying, oh my gosh, I can teach you to trade in three days. Well, in theory, I can teach you to trade in three hours, Right. but you're not going to listen to me. You're like a teenager. You're not going to follow what I have to say. You're going to have to experience it. So I know traders that has taken them four or five years, but you know, after that four or five years, like going to college, man, they're making good money. Life is awesome. They have freedom, flexibility. And I know some other people that have taken six, 12 months like you. So, right. I mean, and, and everywhere in between, I have people that have never made it. I mean, let's not sugarcoat this. This right. isn't bullshit. This is a serious business here. And, and for the people out there listening to this, if you're not serious about this, don't even waste your time. Just just move on right now. Stop listening and just move on. Right. Okay, because if you think you're just going to do this for fun, kind of, eh, whatever, you know, you're not going to do this. Okay? Um, so I think that if you're going to do it, you commit to it and you do it. And if you do do that, I think you'll be successful at it. Uh, how long it'll take? Could be six months, could be five years. Right. Most traders, from what I've seen, it's usually a couple of years. Right. Re I mean, I'm talking, keep in mind, I'm talking to get it, to really get it. I don't mean to make $500 a month. I mean, that's nice, but that's not what we're doing it for. Right. And now to ask the hard question. Are traders made or traders are born? Are great traders made or tra great traders born? Can well, anybody make it? Can everybody nurture, make it? Right. Yep. Um, do ev you know, does everybody? I'm, I'm a little bit more of a realist. Can every single person in the world make it as a trader? No. But can most people make it if, if they try? Absolutely. So when you say made or born, I think they're made. I think they're 99% made, 1% born. You may have a couple exceptions to the rule out there, but I think most traders are, are definitely made and not born. And that's the experience that I've had uh, in my 11-year career, especially at Live Traders. Uh, traders are made. I don't know anybody that just comes in and 
they just magically understand right. everything. They all had to get an education. Yeah, I mean, take take me for example. I used to suck at math and suck at almost every kind of education in school, college. You know, even though I have a degree, I never attend a single lecture. Yeah. I think it all comes down to the kind of the effort you put in, as you said. You know, the effort Isn't you put in. Isn't that exactly? Much? Rich people aren't lucky. They just work hard. Yeah. You know, sure, is there a little bit of luck in there, a little element of fortuitousness? Sure, but they work hard, and that's why right. they're at. You know, they're where they're at. Same for you. I, I've never met. Uh, really anybody as young as you that that's this motivated and that's why I think you've done as well as you've done uh, And that's a, an attribute that you know, we pride ourselves here at live traders We have some of the best real traders out there um, And what's also cool about it is all three of us whether it's myself on mall you Jay, etc um, We've all had our different struggles and we all had different paths to success and the reason I feel it's important is because that'll help us teach a myriad of different traders who have different issues and struggle because you might be good with this type of trader I might be good with that type of trader awesome all right thanks for this man I think uh, it's gonna help a lot of people everybody's gonna benefit from this video and you know more importantly because now they get to see us and now you get to see you in real life rather than through like a webinar online because I think yeah. it's good to put a you know face to the name and uh, all that stuff but anyways uh, thanks for that buddy and uh, you know let's get some uh, coffee or something to eat you know, and, and real quick before I finish, I mean, I tell this to people all the time. I travel quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm fortunate to have the means to do that kind of stuff. Everywhere I go, whether it's California, whether it's Japan, whether it's the Bahamas this past year, whether it's Staten Island, whether it's New York City, whether it's Pennsylvania, you name it. I, I've been to a lot of places. I hit people up all the time. I let them know I'm going there. Check my Instagram, uh, Scoutmaster, and you can see where I'm going to be at. I'll let you know. We can meet up. You know, I'm not shy about that stuff. I'm not hiding in a box or any of those types. And I know you're the same way, and that's why we're together today. Um, so, yeah, absolutely. Uh, for those of you out there that want to learn a little more about trading, go to LiveTraders.com. Uh, if you want to meet up with myself or Unmall, just hit us up when we're in your neighborhood, all right? Yeah, and just to end the video, so... Where do people start right now? Okay, they go to the website. What, what should they do first? Well, look at how beautiful it is first, but outside of that, um, there's actually a, I think there's a free ebook we just put on there, yep. what, about a month ago, a few weeks ago, something yeah, like that? Yeah, we used to charge for that. Um, we did, now it's a free ebook. So, uh, my first recommendation would be download the free ebook. Because, guys, yep. uh, let's not bullshit here. The trading is not for everybody. You might look at the ebook and go, you know what, this is more work than I want, or this isn't what I'm into, and that's cool. That's fine. Um, I'm not trying to say it's the best thing for everybody. So. Free is a four-letter word that people seem to love. So check out the free ebook. It's like 70 pages of really good stuff. A lot of great articles in there. And if, and if you find after reading that that trading's not for you, then hey, I'm cool with that. If you find it is for you, uh, then give us a ring. You know, check out the chat room or check out Trading with an Edge, etc., and so forth. Yep, I think people should take the challenge on the website. It'll uh, guide you to which course is uh, yeah, right love for them. you. There we go. Come on now. <laughs> Who doesn't love that? That's it. So everybody, whoever's watching the video, if you're interested, come check us out, take the trading challenge, and we'll see you on the other side. All right, have a good one, guys. Have a good one.